Welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Please, while we're going through the um, show, call the prayer lines, bottom of the screen. I remind you over and over and over because we want to see you get your breakthrough. And God is doing amazing things as we come in agreement with you through the power of prayer and faith. And God is giving breakthrough and doing miracles on those prayer lines. So remember to call 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729 and with that said, I just want to get right to the program today, but let me introduce ourselves. I'm Charlene back to Miriam, one of your God's View hosts. Um, this is Lana Gardner, and this is Jennifer Griffin, and we have Marianne Peluso. And again, us girls love coming into your home. So glad that you're taking the time right now to sit down and watch us. I know one guy called and said, I'll tell you what. I, and I'll tell you what, I was so blessed when he said this. He goes, when God's view comes that on, he goes, nothing else happens. I sit down and I wow. go for the ride. Yeah, it's, it's great. great. Yeah. Right? I'm a guy. Oh, and I was that. like, and how many call? I know, we oh, get yeah. a lot of call men me. calling. We love it. And men, we love your calls to yes. pray with you. And let us be your big sister or your, you know, to some of you were mamas, to some of yeah. you were, you know, grandmas, to some of you, because see, we have <laughs> we have 12 year old that's coming oh. on our program next month that that uh, watched our shows faithfully and loved yeah, it and sent us a letter so we're we have all different ages and we are maybe like a grandma to him maybe we're like yeah. a mom to him maybe we're like an auntie maybe yeah. you know we part. yeah i'll be damn part i don't want to be old <laughs> i'll be a sister yeah yeah she'll be the sister i'll be the little sister <laughs> but you know we're so glad the girls and i that you joined us we have a amazing subject today amazing topic and for you and and what it's called is do not covet someone else's anointing mm -hmm. and you know how much trouble do you get in over and over and over with yourself and with god and the depression you can get into yeah. i don't even mean depression just maybe an old pressure or maybe kind of like a you know feeling bad about yourself because you've compared yourself with somebody else's anointing when god made you so special and to reach, you know, you were predestined and ordained to do a specific thing on this earth. And you cannot want somebody else's anointing or walk in their shoes. It just won't work. And you'll be miserable always in a counterfeit place of yourself. I call that a counterfeit place. Like if I'm trying to be like somebody else, I'm a counterfeit of me. I am nothing but a counterfeit. If I'm moving with who God called me to be and what he called me to do and the anointing he placed on my life, then... I am doing the things of God. I want to open with a scripture. And of course, I can quote this by heart. But I love this scripture because this is the scripture that God gave me when he called us into ministry years and years ago. It's going to be familiar to all of you uh, watching because we know that this prophetic word was in Isaiah 61 and then came to pass in Luke 4. And we could just get a whole shot of all of us right now because we're just going to read this word. And it's in Luke 4, yeah. um, 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Mm. Let me see. Because he has anointed me, the anointed one, that Messiah, to preach the good news, the gospel. To the poor, he has sent me to announce release to the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind, to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed, who are downtrodden, bruised, crushed, and broken down by calamity. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors God profusely abounds. But the thing is, is it's the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me. So, can we get a full shot? Uh, he has anointed, he has anointed Marianne. He has anointed Jennifer for a specific task. He has anointed me. He has anointed Lana. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has you. anointed me right. and you. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're making that point is because you cannot compare the anointing with somebody else's because Mary Ann's anointing isn't going to work on you. Yeah. 
right. Mm -hmm. and you're going to be miserable. You're going to compare. You're going to feel lesser than always because people will look at someone and say, oh, man, I, I wish I was like that. I wish I had that anointing. No, 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 no. Be glad for that anointing that's helping you to be stronger and launch you out in a greater way. Be thankful and bless yeah. them and pray for them, but never compare and never want it. Want what you want, and I'll tell you, you'll be in that same level, in that same position as you surrender to the anointing on your mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. that's Hallelujah. Good. That's good. There was a great man, Epicurus, and he, he said, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was going to say that sometimes we don't know what a person has had to walk through well, that's to be where they're at. And, yeah. and I, I think about your life, what you've had to walk through to be where you're at now, mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people would ask for that. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. Saying? Because we have to, you know, I mean, we have to walk through different things to to come to a place. It's a process of, even when we're, you know, we talk about yeah. anointings, but we have to walk a process out. Yes. And, and God does give us gifts from birth, but there's a walking out of that that produces the fruit within the gifts and, and everything. That's so, good. So I think there's a... Um, Sometimes we see something we desire. We oh wow, they're powerful, and we want to walk like that. But you don't know what that person has had to walk Went through, through to yeah. be where they're at, and and that's I mean that's truth. That's exactly yes. it. you know people look at Joyce Meyer yeah. and they would like her worldwide ministry, let's just say, or Billy Graham. But you know <laughs> yeah. what? You don't. Maybe you're not willing to pay the price. That's right. Yeah. See. Every mm -hmm. every anointing, and if you're listening today, you know what's anointing? It's a gifting, it's a calling. First um, John two um, twenty, Paul said, "But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things." So, you know, don't covet someone else's calling or ministry or anointing because maybe you wouldn't be willing to pay the price yeah. that it's going to take. For that kind of power to be manifested yeah. and i think of david i think of um when david went uh, up against goliath and saul put his armor on and david said no <laughs> like i haven't tested this yeah. in other words david was smart he said i don't know if i can walk in this i don't know if i'm strong enough for this so see when we when we covet someone else say, oh i wish i had that you know maybe you don't even know that you wouldn't be willing to pay the price that that person right. has had to pay like you said to yes. them. and david was wise because he said i haven't tested this in other words i don't know if i can handle that heavy of armor so it says that david took up five stones in a slingshot he was familiar and i love this verse in first john 2 20 it says you have an anointing from the holy one and you know all things it's like God, my anointing is to sing. I never had a music lesson, but I know music. I, it comes with the gift. Yes. So if you're out there today and, oh, I want that person's gift, well, if you don't have the, the wherewithal that goes with it, chances are you that's not your calling. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Can't yeah. Paint, yeah. I can't paint for nothing. Yeah. I'd like to do what Tom, Thomas Kincaid does. Oh, not I my love calling. that. I'd love to paint <laughs> you know, like Thomas Napoleon, Kincaid. But, you know, Napoleon that, oh. envied Caesar, <laughs> and Caesar envied Alexander, and a Alexander envied Hercules, and Hercules <laughs> never existed. <laughs> so, so God Leave made to each and every one of us <laughs> That's great. You know, with a gift. Use that gift. That's Don't right. try to have someone else's and that yes. way, someone else because you'll never be able to do it and you wouldn't yeah. even enjoy it. Billy Graham, they said about Billy Graham that if he wasn't eating, if he wasn't preaching, his nose was in the Bible. Yeah, he it's paid the awesome. price. He That's paid the awesome. price. You know what, and you, with that scripture, you know all things. The thing is, is with the anointing, the anointing is all things because it's That's all God. Right. It comes with power. It That's comes right. with glory. Yeah. It comes with a lot of stuff. That glory is the manifest presence of God through your life. So that's why you cannot be a counterfeit of yourself and be trying to walk in somebody else's shoes. I know it's hard because you learn under people. You grow under people. And some people talk like that person. They act like that person. They... I mean, they have every mannerism, and sometimes I think that's really, 
this is not a good thing. You should yeah. be learning from them, but you shouldn't always uh, just be them. That's right. You know, and a lot of people do that, and and because they want to, I mean, they'll cough like them, they'll stand like them, <laughs> they'll act. I've seen it from the pulpit yeah. so many times. Yeah. You know that all these little reproductions. God don't want us just right. all, re, you know, the same little you people. Need us and, different for but it, yeah. you respect that, love that. I mean, mm -hmm. you learn things, but be who God created you to be. That's you know, right. the biggest thing that comes to rob that, um, you know, there's a lot of things, but when you're going forth in the power of God and the anointing of God and God called you, you know, there's two spirits that come along that are called doubt and unbelief. And mm -hmm. they constantly come and knock at your door, knock at your brain to try to make you go a different way or look back or say, no, this can't be me. I'm doubting what I am, but oh, I could probably, you know, do that or copycat that. But you're not, you know, again, we said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. See, it, it's like like he anointed Jesus, he anointed Lana. Again, for those of you who just um, tuned in, he anointed me for a certain task. He anointed Jennifer, he anointed Marianne. No, like Marianne said, she can't be Kincaid. She'd like to be Kincaid. And we know he has a lot of people that paint all those paintings, you know. Well, now he's with the Lord or, you know. But he has a lot of people that, you know, wherever. I don't know. Uh, you know, I can't say where he is. I mean, but, but bottom line is he had beautiful paintings. And I'd love to paint. I'm a painter. I mean, I painted this lion right behind us. I love painting. And, and probably if I could, I probably could paint a pretty good painting. I could probably paint a good, pretty good painting. Sorry, I'm like uh, a pretty good uh, painting, but it wouldn't be anointed like his because there's nobody like King Kate. Yeah, that's right. You know, things happy people <laughs> don't do is envy. That's right. And it have jealousy. Jealousy. And, and that's when you're coveting anything, Ooh. anything else. You yeah. wallowing. In these kinds of Did sins. you pick on my notes last <laughs> night when we were at the hotel? <laughs> Covenant gives birth to jealousy. Wait until you oh. fell asleep. You yeah, did. Geez, that's what I heard. <laughs> and there's nothing. There's nothing worse than jealousy in a place. I mean, because no. I mean, it, I've seen it. Yes. Where it divides. It, it opens, opens the door. To yeah, the enemy comes, comes in. Yeah, yeah, and it divides. It comes to divide and separate and mm -hmm. and bring that spirit in. So especially when God's mm -hmm. exalting someone else, yeah. you will see that spirit rise up. Yeah. And you will see it come against mm -hmm. another person, and you will know what you're dealing with. And then all you can do is pray for that person or pray them out. Yeah, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. pray them out. I mean, it just yeah. you, it, it just because there should no be no jealousy. You, yeah. I, I want everybody to to be mm -hmm. better than what I am. Like mm -hmm. if I, if I'm at a conference, I'll always forever drag up people so that they can leave. Yeah. I can't do this. I can't do this. I go just just lay hands on somebody. Just start blessing. Them, just start blessing. Yeah. Them. Then all of a sudden they start saying. I see this and I see that and because it's the gift. It's God. Right. There's nothing more in me or nothing more in the others. It's the gifts of God. Amen. And if you will surrender yourself to the anointing, he'll use you. Mm -hmm. You know, I just got I just got this mind flash of an example, Charlie, as you were talking. It'd be like, okay, Denver Broncos or San Diego Chargers, Seattle Seahawks, shoot, they beat us. But anyway, when you <laughs> see a baseball team or a football team, you don't see the quarterback jealous of the running back? That's right. That's good. That's right? good. Right? You don't see the punter jealous of the defensive linemen? They're on the same team. They're right. happy yeah. when they do well. They're in yes. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to rejoice with one another. Yeah. When if something good happens, it says we're supposed to yeah. rejoice when someone mourns. We're supposed to mourn. You know, yes. we're supposed to come as a body working it together. Is, so true. if you're not rooting for your brother, your sister, then you're like a lone ranger. Then you're puffing and exalting yourself. Mm -hmm. We're here to exalt Jesus. That's right. And we're here to blow him up to the mm -hmm. world and just let him be known. You know, we want to hide behind the cross and let Jesus come out. Yes. So we're a team, right? Oh, yes. We mm -hmm. are here. Coveting. Mm -hmm. Coveting is breaking one of the Ten Commandments. That's right. I Lana. mean, it's really big. We're talking Exodus twenty seventeen. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. Or but there's one thing we can ears. covet. There's one thing we can covet that God put in His Word. Yeah. The gift of prophecy. Yes. yes. We can mm -hmm. covet the gift of prophecy, yes. so it must be pretty important to God. Oh, yes. it must be pretty right. important. Most important. Yes, God, and, and look right. at there, so we can covet yeah. prophecy. Yes. And I love that because that gift changed my life. It was yeah. like what you 
were saying when you said that um, how people, the cost and what they mm -hmm. went through and, and all that kind of stuff. And then you went on to say, um, you know, how uh, people, I, I forget how you said it, but basically it was um, like when I was just getting born again, people would call me out and speak into my life and you were saying something as the word and changing and I can't remember how you put it but it was really good but when I was first born again um, I just I would look at everybody and look at their anointings. I, I, I don't necessarily think I wanted their anointings because I was too afraid to do it. I mean, I was like, forget any of this. I don't want to be where any of them are. You know what I mean? You just, you don't even yeah. think no, of that. Don't even think You're of just it. like, you want to learn. You're just yeah. a baby. But people would keep calling me out. And it's kind of some of the things that Marianne said, what all everybody said today. And they'd call me out. And I've said this many times. And they'd start speaking all this stuff in my life about you have an anointing on your life and you're going to travel around the world and blah, 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 blah. All these kind of things and I would think oh my gosh and you may not be able to comprehend some of that or you know take in any of that because at that moment I couldn't either and I, I really did in my heart would say what rock hit them on the head I'm like oh remember <laughs> I'm not even praying at dinner I'd freak out I'd shake and I'm thinking oh man these people are all anointed and know all this stuff I can't pray a prayer like that and all they want me to do is bless the food but the devil will do that to you mm -hmm. he will come in and make you feel so foolish and so lesser than and all these kind of things but you know what God just kept and that's all you got to do just keep watching it out love God love people let him keep imparting to you because guess what one day I was so pregnant with everything and what God said to me out of his word and the call of God how people would call me out and confirm it yeah. I just was walking it out exactly. and guess what I'm going all over the world I've not only traveled around the world I've tra uh, not everywhere in the world but I we're going around the world with this TV station yeah. Mm -hmm. every bit of that was correct right then I couldn't see it I could not see it and I, I don't believe that I ever coveted anybody's anointing because, like I said, I didn't want to be that. But as you, I grew a little, I thought, wow, would that be cool to do that? Would that be great? It depends on your heart and your motive when you're saying that. I didn't covet, and I didn't say, I want to be them. No. But I did think it was really awesome and cool and thinking, wow, that's so beautiful, the way they move in the gifts of God. So there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Well, the exciting thing is that God wants us to succeed yes. in every area of our lives and and so yeah. when you go and you walk in his calling he'll cause you to succeed when you hearken to his voice believe me in whatever area he's called you for he wants you to do well um, and and we should we just shouldn't be afraid and there's no way, you know, that, that our lives and what has happened in our lives, that we did it in our own strength. Yes. And, you know, everything that we have and everything that you have and, and everybody else, we, we look to God as our source and then he comes through for us every yes. time. Well, if we can accomplish it, then it's not God. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. if, we can, if you can accomplish what's in your heart, then it's not God. God will always give you a vision to, um, on his perspective, not our perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, so it's going to be bigger. Yeah. yeah. And when I think about what your story is, you know, and, and each of us, I think, um, when we talk about counting the costs, there, I mean, you're, there's a battle. I mean, there's oh, a battle yes. all throughout it. And see, we can't, Does it matter? that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's, we know that there are that you're going to run into, because the enemy is always going to try to mm -hmm. come against what God's placed you to, on this earth to do. He's always going to come yes, and try yes, to. Always. Yeah, he no will. It, it could come from the most perfect home, the yes, most. Exactly. Per, or the worst background. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he will come matter. to make you feel less That's than right. and compare because he wants to win you. He wants to win you over. And the only way he can do that is if he can put you down and make you look at something else besides what God created you in his image that's right you know it, it, that's his that's his mm -hmm. the name of his well, game and and pride is pride is a, a weird thing because if we have our eyes on ourselves that's pride that's true. i'm not yeah. worthy i can't do this i i i so you have i over here i'm not worthy i can't do it i blew it yes i'm not talented yeah. i'm not like that person so that's pride humble pride and, and then you have pride that says, boy, aren't I good. Why am I not where they are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. pride is a really, you know, like you say, you have to just, that's where the trials, mm -hmm. the fire refines and the fire shows us, well, well I'm, I'm coveting that person. You know, I'm not dead to that thing. That thing still means 
too much to me. Mm -hmm. if, if, I, if I covet Charlene's eyes, well, you know what? i got to be grateful that I can see Charlene's yes. yes. eyes and yes. not want her b beautiful blue-green eyes. You know, yeah. we have to look at what God has given uh, us. Yeah. So, and be thankful for it. That's thankful. good. That's you know, what because a lot of people, the enemy does do that. I remember when I was young, I wanted to have... Uh, this name, or Debbie's name, or that one's hair. She had such beautiful yeah, hair. I wanted those legs. I wanted that. And you get to the point in your life where you really do. You're thankful that you can walk. Yeah. And you're not in a wheelchair. You're That's thankful right. that you're who you are. Not that you think you're all that in a bag of chips, but you're just, you just start getting grateful for those yes. things. I'm thankful for the hair God gave me now. I'm thankful for the eyes he gave me. I'm thank you for the call he gave mm -hmm. me. You know, I'm thankful for those things. But when you're growing up, and, and, and even when you're young in the Lord, Lord, the devil will really mess with you and use that against you. Mm. you and really, if you really have any will. insecurities from a relationship or yes. childhood, yeah. and it that just blows those up. Yes. Yes. And, and, to to and envy, things like envy and jealousy, mm -hmm. they lead to bitterness, to mm -hmm. hatred, yes. to enjoying other people's misfortunes. Yeah. We, yeah. Yes. You know, I, I have a confession to make. When I was growing up, the Barbie dolls that we played with had long blonde long hair. hair. That's right. I'm, we're, I'm mm -hmm. dating myself, and so as I grew up with, you know, this black hair, whole blood Italian, there was no way I would ever mm -hmm. get blonde <laughs> hair. <laughs> Even if I dyed it, I remember one time I put on a blonde wig just to like see what I would. Oh my gosh! It was the most hideous thing. <laughs> it was awful, <laughs> and I was. Oh! <laughs> and I said, thank you, God. And you know what? And then that carried on yeah. and into my relationship. I had a boyfriend, you know, when I was a teenager. And because I had this thing against blondes, yeah. you know, he <laughs> broke up with me for a blonde. <laughs> I mean, this blonde, I had this blonde thing. And when I, when I started growing in the Lord, the Lord showed me that thing that was in my heart. And I really had to get healed of that. Right. I mean, yes. you might be here today. You might think, well, you know, I don't know what. It, I'm not going to start naming. But we want to see you healed. You are beautiful, just the way you are. God made you. You're That's a snowflake. Right. You're a fingerprint. No two are alike, or it'd be boring. That's, That's right. Yes. Realize you got healed of that long <laughs> <I did>. thing. <laughs> That is funny. Like the yeah. one thing is to walk through the doors that God opens uh -huh. for us, too. You know, if you want to attain something and it's a desire of your heart, well, it's because God put you there. And, and, you, and he'll open a door for you. And it'll probably be a door where you say, I can't do that. That couldn't be God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go through the door and mm -hmm. trust him. And, and like you said, a lot of times it'll be a place, the very place that maybe growing up you never felt confident. That's where God wants to use you at. Yes. Yes. You said, I can't do this. But, That's but good. when you yes. have something growing something up that touch you, on. for me it was, you know, speaking in front of anyone, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. I was very shy and very, I would go behind people. <laughs> and now, okay. My mom always told me that. She goes, I don't know where you got that. You didn't get that from me. And I said, well, I got it from God. That's right. I certainly you know, didn't want to do it. Then. I was freaking mm -hmm. out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and right. today, if you if you if you like to sing, then chances are God has you to sing in a choir, a praise and worship team. Mm -hmm. If you like to draw, yeah. well, I have found whatever God wants us to do, it comes easy. We enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. So too many people are looking over here, going, "I want that." Uh, discover what God has put in you to do. Yes, that's yeah. good. And that's where you will excel and mm -hmm. you will know all things because that gifting, that anointing he put there will have carry everything with it. I don't know a thing about music, but I know rhythm. I know quarter notes. I know half notes. I know scales. I know octaves. Don't tell me how. I just know because God put that in me yeah. and he's put something that's in good. you. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. That's good. That's really Praise good. The Lord. So, so most of so, it. Wow. Yeah, yeah we've talked a lot about a lot of la 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 stuff today. <laughs> Sorry. La 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 stuff. You know, with that, I just want to tell you, call the prayer lines. Yes. You know, if you're having any kind of issues with comparison or, or maybe yeah. you just feel lesser than and, and you hear us talking and you're saying, boy, I really, you know, we had a gal call and said, she said, I just so needed what you said this morning and oh, I really, really connected. Jesus. And she says, I mean, I just really got it. She goes, I don't want to hurt myself now. And she said, mm -hmm. I just... You know, it, it just clicked, and well, she it, was suicidal. Wasn't yeah, she? and and it may be clicking with you, and you might be mm -hmm. saying, 
wow, all this time I've taken all this for granted and, and everything else, and, and, and you're just getting it, and, and you're saying, thank you, Lord, and, and I'm getting this. Well, praise God. Call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729, so we can pray with yeah. you. And, and, and if you... If you've just learned a lot today, just say, thank you, Lord. Help me, even if you don't want to call the prayer lines, yes. help me not to compare myself. Yeah. As I told uh, people when we uh, first opened the show and in the middle, God always told me that if you were trying to walk in somebody else's shoes and the devil's making you feel lesser than, then you're actually just being a counterfeit of yourself because you have to walk in That's who right. God created you to be in his image. And then things come together and the anointing's powerful then. Yes. When you're walking where God wants, I mean, it comes with some awesome, glorious manifestations and of the Lord. It. And you love it. And yeah, you're happy. You, you're, you're happy. Fit. And you're you're so well, what's glory? Now. What's mm -hmm. glory? Just the manifest presence mm -hmm. of God. You know, how he's manifesting and how he's, you know, breaking through. Well, with all that said, holy <laughs> macaroni. Be the girls. best you can be. Yeah. Be the best you. Yes, that's good. Be the that's best good. you. Be mm -hmm. the best you. Don't let the devil beat you up anymore. You know what, Come, those who don't know the Lord and you're hearing us talking about yeah. all of this today, you know, it's, it's all because of the Lord and the Holy Spirit in us. You know, the Holy Spirit is the one who leads and guides into all truth. He is the one that counsels and comforts. And he'll come in and he'll teach you, train you, counsel you, love on you. But you have to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And so, say today, won't you, with us, that, that Jesus, forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I've certainly made a mess of things, but I want what these women are talking about. So would you please just come into my life. Take yes. the sin. Take these pieces that are slattered, smashed all over the floor. Put them back together for me, won't you? And just lead and guide me. Say, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that you really are the Son of God, that you died on a cross, you rose again, and you're coming back to get me. If you said that prayer, call the prayer lines at the bottom yes. of the screen so that we can get a Bible into your hands. Those, everyone who's boarding again, we don't just send out Bibles to everybody because I've had calls for all these Bibles, but just for those who got born again, okay? But we love you. But most importantly, Jesus loves you. Stay tuned for our websites and um, the DVD and CD uh, coming up. You can go on the website. Please, please, if the Lord would tell you to donate, push that donate button. I am telling you, we're not, <laughs> we're, we, we need your funding to keep on going and to come into your home each week. So if the Lord would speak to you, please go there and push that donate button or send it to the P.O. box across the bottom of the screen. It'll really go to good use and God will bless you because you know what it'll be just like us going you know when someone gives it's just like you're doing it right yeah. here we're in that together so That's goodbye right. for today and tune in next week or whenever you see us god willing we will see you next program it's goodbye for today Bye. go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs, Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs, Lana Gardner books, and Charlene Bactamarian's books. Visit www.GodsViewTVShows.com to purchase your products today. Be blessed over and over again as the Holy Spirit ministers to your heart by ordering today's program on DVD or CD. DVD $9, CD $7.